When CERN announced on July 4 the discovery of a new particle, headlines around the world celebrated it as long sought after Higgs boson, the missing piece of a puzzle describing fundamental particles and forces in the universe. But is the newly found particle really the boson predicted by Peter Higgs and other theorists back in 1964? Sure, we're, we found it. We found a new particle and uh, for many people, well, very likely to be the Higgs. On the other hand, to make sure it is really the Higgs, uh, we need to know more. And therefore, well, for the moment, it's just a new particle. And while well, we like to add Higgs-like because, of course, uh, it was found in a spot where kind of the Higgs was supposed to be. Now, the new particle that's just been discovered at the LHC, we know it's a boson. Bosons are the particles that carry the fundamental interactions. For example, the, the particle of light, the photon, that's a boson. Uh, and there are similar bosons that carry the weak interactions, also responsible for, for nuclear forces. Now, in order to figure out whether you've got a boson or not, you need to measure its spin. So spin is, um, if one really thinks about it hard, it's a very weird quantity. Uh, probably for the layman and also for many physicists, the easiest way to kind of make a picture for it is to say, well, the particle uh, has an angular momentum by spinning around itself, and that's how it also got its name. But once one goes into the world of uh, quantum physics, that analogy doesn't really exactly work anymore. So today, we rather like to think about it about as being one characteristic of a particle, which, well, says us, well, what type of particle it is. Different particles spin at different rates. So uh, the particles that make up matter, those are what we call fermions, and they, they all have spin, not very much spin, so we call it spin one half. And that's very important. If that were not the case, then atoms could not exist because all the electrons would collapse into, into the middle there. And how does a boson spin? Now, the bosons, they have integer spin. The new particle that's just been discovered at the LHC, we know it's a boson because we can measure how it decays into other particles. It decays into pairs of other particles. For example, pairs of photons. Decaying into pairs of photons, it has to be a boson. It has to have integer spin. What do we know about the spin of the new boson? Round and round and yeah. round and